Hello everyone and welcome to my comprehensive guide on flat black boots for the new season. So I'm really excited for this video. It's something I've been planning for a little while and I wanted to really deep dive into black boots because they're something that's so practical. We all probably have one or two pairs and I wanted to kind of dissect mine um, choose different styles and share why those different styles work in my wardrobe, what I pair them with and what um, kind of different reasons and occasions I pair a certain black pair rather than another black pair. So um, basically what they go with and a bit of a kind of do's and don'ts of different shapes and styles of black boots. So what I've done is choose three of my essential black boots that I wore all year well, all year, all season last year um, and also early in this year. The ones I wore on repeat, they're all different styles and shapes um, to really kind of exaggerate my points here. But of course, you don't have to have these exact same boots. You can apply these rules to slightly different shapes as well. So that's why I've, I've kind of gone quite generic with these boots um, and quite simple as well. So briefly, I'm gonna talk about the three pairs that I'm choosing and why. So the first one are these long black boots from Russell and Bromley last year. Um, these I actually wore probably one of my most. Um, I went up, I think I go always go up a size in boots because I can be a half size. So I usually go for the bigger size. I got these and just wore them on repeat. I love the chunkier style, but they also have a bit of a nod to that riding boot style. They feel more modern than a very kind of fitted pair of black boots. And I just found them so wearable and versatile. And I'll show you um, coming up how to style these and what I'm wearing them with and what I've worn them with and why that kind of works. So that's my first style and this is the concept of a long black boot that's flat as well. So the next are these from Naked Fashion. Now this is the idea of a kind of chunkier ankle boot. This isn't a particularly exaggerated style of the chunky boot. I don't know how much of that we're gonna be seeing around this season, as much as we have done in the past. But the idea of a black ankle boot um, that's very practical and durable, maybe a chunky Chelsea boot, something like that. Um, this kind of covers all of those style of boots. And as I mentioned, today's video will be on the idea of flat boots, but if you want me to go a bit more in depth with heeled boots, I can certainly do that. Um, although I would say heeled boots kind of follows the same pattern of um, flat boots, um, depending on the shape. And then finally, completely different in shape are these ankle boots from by far last year. I think these are called the Est boots. Um, and these are just really, really chic, practical, timeless. And um, I found last year I was kind of lacking in my wardrobe something um, a bit more delicate and dainty, a bit slimmer fitting, and actually fulfill jobs that the others don't. So my three styles are a long black boot, a chunkier ankle boot that's maybe more practical for casual daytime occasions, and then a more slimmer, daintier, elegant ankle boot as well. So I'm going to explore these in a lot more depth. So let's get into that. So let's start with the Russell and Bromley long boots. Um, these, as I say, are some of my favorites, but I definitely think there are ways that I wouldn't pair these boots. And one of those ways are with some really loose trousers, either tucked in or tucked out. I just don't think they go at all. It's very, very exaggerated. You find that the balloony wide leg style really puffs out and I think it makes it feel a little bit too equestrian um, and loose and baggy. That's not to say it doesn't work all together, but I would say a very loose style of trousers like the one in the cutaway just doesn't work with these tall boots. And equally, I think if I untucked these very loose wide trousers, it just wouldn't work with the tall, chunkier, wider leg boot. It feels very, very bottom heavy. And I think no matter what I did um, with these tucked in, they just would never work because there's too much excess fabric around the boot. That said, moving on to how I do think you can do the tucked in trousers look. Um, I've paired them with these slimmer fitting straight leg trousers 
from H&M. So this gives a subtle nod to that equestrian, slightly 90s kind of trend that's around at the minute, but it just does it in a lot more of a kind of laid back, effortless look without all that excess fabric. So I'd find trousers that not necessarily skin tight fitting, but something fairly slim that doesn't leave all that bulky fabric around the knee because that just doesn't work. But I definitely think you could do this with the straight leg trousers like I've got here or something slimmer fitting like jeans that aren't necessarily skinny jeans, but you could do these with straight leg jeans as well. So don't kind of neglect your straighter leg pieces with the with the tall boots. You can actually make these work. Just make sure they're not too billowy around the thigh area, otherwise it just doesn't look right. So that's one way you can make these boots work with a straight leg trouser, but I also think these look great with skinny tight trousers, like the leggings I'm showing you here, a pair of thick black leggings. Still gonna be quite a big trend going into the new season, and I think they complement these chunkier style of boots so well, especially when you do a bit of proportion balancing, like I've done here with this blazer. This is the one I'm wearing here, it's from Sana New York, new season brown blazer, but I think what is crucial when you do pair really, really tight leggings or jeans or trousers with these boots is that you do wear something a little bit chunkier on top. These boots are tall and slightly chunky and I think this applies to all kind of tall boots as well. Um, you need to have a bit of balance at the top. You've got the skinny in the middle, maybe something a little bit more oversized, a loose fitting jumper, an oversized shirt, a bigger blazer or coat. Then you've got your skinny trousers and then you've got that slightly chunkier bit at the bottom and it really complements the top half of your, of your outfit really well. So I definitely would go for skinny, but make sure you go for something oversized on top. And then finally, a tall black boot, or I guess any color, works really nicely with dresses of any length, I think. Um, I've not done an example of a short one for this particular outfit, but I'll show you a quick one later in the video of um, the tall boots with a short skirt. But I personally am more of a long dress wearer anyway, and I think they look really good with these tall boots. And also mid-length as well works really well because you've not got any break of fabric. You've got the nice, tall, elegant leg of the boot onto your mid-length of skirt or dress. So I really think any kind of dress or skirt in any length, for the most part, work with um, this. The one thing I would say is maybe something really, really tight fitting at the bottom, like a really clingy, tight skirt in much of the same sense of the leggings, need something oversized on top if that's what you're pairing with your boots. But for the most part, I think dresses and skirts look really great with these tall boots. Um, as I say, there's no breakage in the line of fabric and it kind of flows elegantly down the leg with them being a tall boot. Just a quick second, if you've not subscribed already before we go on to the next pair, um, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this kind of educational style content, I really, really want to focus on this in the new season going forth. It's my favorite kind of thing to do. Um, and my channel is all about explaining the why behind the outfit, why it works, because it's all very well and good seeing an outfit and maybe trying to replicate it in your own wardrobe, but we don't always have the exact same pieces to replicate a photo we see on Instagram or something we see on YouTube. So if I give you kind of the tools and information to go into your wardrobe and apply that to your own pieces, then hopefully that will help you get the most out of your wardrobe, maximize your own pieces without feeling like you need to go out and buy the exact things that I'm talking about or someone else is talking about. So that's gonna be a real focus. It has been a focus for me for several years, but it's I'm really gonna try and hit home on that in the next few months. So do let me know as well if you've got any suggestions on what you'd like me to deep dive in. I mean, really, I could do a whole video on one style of black boot in particular if you really want me to go into more depth. So just a reminder to hit that subscribe whilst I've still got you if you're enjoying this kind of thing. So let's move on to the next pair of boots, my short, chunky ankle boots. Obviously, these have been huge for the past few years. A black kind of slightly chunkier ankle boot is nothing unusual in terms of trends. I think we'll see it around for a long time, sometimes more exaggerated than others as it has been in years previously. But I think something, as I mentioned, a Chelsea boot kind of ticks this box. Um, so here's how I would and wouldn't style it. So the first thing I would kind of avoid 
Again, a bit like the first boots with them being so chunky, I'd avoid a wide leg. It just makes your outfit feel extremely bottom heavy. And even in this example, hopefully you'll be able to see, I've done some color balancing. So I've got my black on the bottom and black on the top, but even that I think feels too bottom heavy. And I've done balancing in terms of proportions. So I've got the black blazer on to balance out the chunkiness of the boots. But to me, it still feels too bottom heavy with the wide legs and then the chunky boots. It feels, I've mentioned this before, but it almost feels like a kind of worker's uniform, like you'd wear on a structural site or something, just so baggy and loose at the bottom with those big chunky boots. It just doesn't have much balance of proportion. Um, so that's something I would personally avoid with my chunkier ankle boots. So I think you'll begin to see a pattern, but very much like with the tall chunky boots, I would go for something straight leg. I think a straighter leg looks great with these chunkier ankle boots. We've not got two extremes in terms of very, very tight against the boots or very, very loose against the boots. It's just a nice middle ground that complements each other really well with the chunkier boot and then the straight leg. And you can also, um, with a straight leg, be it trousers or um, jeans, you can tuck it over the boots or if you wanted to, you could tuck it into the boots as well and there wouldn't be too much excess fabric. So I definitely think a straight leg with these chunky boots has a really nice balance to it. And then you can go ahead and pair that with longer coats, trench coats, blazers over the top. You could even go for a tighter jumper and I think it would still look okay. Usually, as I say, I like to balance out the chunkier boot with something a little bit looser on top, maybe a chunkier jumper. Um, but for the most part, this kind of look would go with most of your tops and outerwear. Okay, so I think this is an interesting point to make for this next look. So you can see here, I've got this chunky black knit on with my satin skirt. I love a satin skirt in the autumn months. Um, I just think it looks chic and effortless, well, all year round, I guess. But I particularly love that contrast of the more casual pieces like the jumper and boots with something satin like this skirt. So we've got the skirt on and what I've done here to demonstrate my point is I've rolled it up a little bit to show um, a kind of mid-length skirt. And this is what I would really, really suggest avoiding with these kind of boots. Um, I just think for one, it looks quite dated, I would say. But for two, I just think it's so flatter unflattering, not flattering, unflattering and it definitely shortens your body a little bit because you're creating that gap in your legs that's a weird awkward length i feel like i mention this every season um, when it comes to boots but you've got the kind of ankle length boot then you've got a kind of weird bit in your leg um, that's neither here nor there you've not got lots of leg on show or no leg on show it's just like a strange chunk and then you've got the skirt so it's really dissecting up your legs into different chunks and making you look shorter, if that makes sense. Um, so as an alternative, here's me rolling down the skirt um, and showing you what a longer length skirt looks like with these boots. And it just looks so much better. Like I mentioned with the first boots, it's all about that continuous line and no breakage within your outfit because that breakage of the strange amount of leg um, like I say, just shortens you. So here you create that streamline effect flowing from the skirt right into the boots seamlessly. So it just looks so much better with a longer skirt that maybe touches the top of the boots or goes past the top of the boots. And always I would balance that out. The chunky boots, if you've got like a, a loose satiny skirt like this, I would go for something a little bit boxier on top. Something else to note though, I do think you could wear um, a shorter skirt with, the, with these boots, but I think the taller boots complement shorter skirts a little bit better. But I do think you can wear them because you've got a lot more of your leg on show. So you've got more of a kind of um, continuation of line to bring it down to the boots. But in general, I would go for a longer skirt with the shorter boots. So let's talk finally about my more elegant, daintier boots from by far. Um, these are a real classic that you can always have in your wardrobe, but I definitely think there are ways that don't look right when you're wearing these. So for example, I don't think they go with tight trousers or leggings like I've got in this example. It just looks so top heavy for one, even if you wore a tight top 
which would just look awful with the leggings. But even if you wore something tighter on top, they just still wouldn't look right because you've got no contrast of proportion in there. Um, you've got no balancing out. Um, with the blazer, it just looks so top heavy. And then the tight little legs at the bottom, it just doesn't look right. You can see that when I change into my chunkier boots to show you what balancing of your um, proportions and your weights really does for your outfit. So I would avoid going for that tighter bottom with the tighter kind of boots because you do just feel a bit more top heavy then. Um, and like I say, no balance. And a common theme throughout this video is that all these boots seem to go with a straighter leg style, like the jeans that I'm showing with the next outfit. Jeans and a blazer, very simple look that would probably go with all of the boots, but um, I think if you want a slightly more elegant look, and that's what these boots do, tighter, slimmer fitting boot will give you a more elegant, polished, classic look, slightly smarter, so you could wear them more for workwear than the chunkier ones, but I think they pair really nicely with a straight leg, and again, have that slightly smarter, more polished feel to the overall look if you're wearing the slimmer fitting boots. So on from straight leg trousers and jeans to wider legs. So this is the kind of boot that I think a wider leg can go with as opposed to a chunkier boot. I think it's nice to go for a slimmer fitting, more daintiest, maybe slightly more pointed boot with the wider leg trousers. It just feels a lot less bottom heavy because you've got a little bit more um, of the elegance at the bottom. And again, it also creates a really nice line down. If you've got a slightly pointier toe, your line kind of draws right from the wide bit down to the bottom of the toe, um, as opposed to stopping short if you've got a chunkier boot on. But I would always say if you've got black or dark boots, for the most part, not in every single case, but for the most part, I would try and balance that with a dark color on top, especially if you've got something light, like the white wide leg trousers. It's good to kind of bring a bit of the dark from the boots into your top, whether that be a t-shirt or a jumper or a blazer or a coat to kind of create a bit of balance. And you could also create balance. It doesn't have to necessarily be by color, but also by something a little bit more structured and boxier. Um, so if I wasn't wearing this black jumper with the wide leg white trousers, I probably, and I was going for something light, I'd probably go for something like a light long coat over the top just to give it some weight to the top, balance out the darker boots at the bottom. Finally, I just want to demonstrate skirts with these slimmer fitting boots. I personally would always go for something slightly chunkier, or if you don't like chunky, maybe a longer boot with your skirts and dresses. I just think it looks so much better than these tighter boots. I feel like, um, again, with the tighter skirt that I'm demonstrating here, it looks all too uh, tight on the bottom and then very top heavy, a bit kind of lollipop-esque. Um, and I just think it's very unflattering on the leg. And I even think with a longer skirt, unless it was really, really, really long, um, it just wouldn't look great because you'd be able to see that awkward point of leg on show, I think. So I would probably avoid your slightly more daintier flat boots with skirts and go for something taller or chunkier with your skirts and dresses for the daytime. So I really, really hope this has been useful for you. As I say, my mission is to really break down the reasons behind an outfit and how to actually construct it yourself. So hopefully that has given you some tips on how to apply in your own wardrobe. Black boots are kind of an essential for the new season going forward into winter and even early spring. And as I say, all these pieces were from last year, so it just shows that if you invest wisely, then you get great longevity and things don't go out of style. Um, so yeah, I hope that's been useful. Um, thanks so much. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, um, and let me know what you thought of the video below. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next one.